Okay, here we have three very similar looking radios. And uh, from the right, we've got a Baofeng DM1801, which is a dual band FM and DMR handheld. Here we have a Baofeng DM860, which is a dual band VHF, UHF, FM and DMR handheld. And here on the left, we have a Baofeng DR1801, which again is a dual band FM and DMR handheld. So that's the similarities out of the way. The two radios here, the middle one and the one on the right, are also both upgradable using the Open GD77 firmware, which makes the radios much easier to program and much, much easier to use. Also, neither of these two radios is now available new. So let's take those away. And what we're left with currently on the market is this, the DR1801, which for all intents and purposes looks pretty much identical to the other two. And we can just take a closer look at it here. I'll switch it on. And you should see the screen booting up and it actually says DR1801. And uh, this one, as it's uh, come from the uh, factory settings, uh, is default into 405 megahertz. So there it is, the battery on the back of the radio. Looks absolutely identical to the DM860 and the DM1801. I'll just remove the battery. And you can see this is labelled up as a DR1801 UV. And I'll take the battery off the other radio. And that's the DM1801. So different colour label and uh, different model number. Now, when these were available new, if you bought them directly from China, the, the DM1801, they retailed at around between 40 and 50 UK pounds, sometimes a little bit cheaper, sometimes a little bit more expensive. And sure enough, if you look currently, this DR1801 is available for roughly the same amount of money. I think I paid just around the 40 pound, 40 UK pound mark for this radio. So we're going to have a look at it in a little bit more detail. I'm going to compare it with the older DM1801. But the biggest drawback with this radio is it cannot be upgraded with the Open GD77 firmware. Although the radio looks identical, it's actually a different chipset inside. So something else we'll also be doing is measuring the power output, the RF power output of this radio. Because you'll see it's rated at 5 watts, which is just the same as the earlier models were. But I have seen another video where the tester only got about two, two and a half watts out of these radios. So we'll run this up and we'll compare it to the DM1801 and the DM860 and see what the respective power outputs are. So before we do any power measurements or anything like that, let's have a quick look at the radio itself and how the menu structure appears and how easy it is to do the basics like uh, change frequencies and so on, at least in, in analog mode. So if we power the radio up, okay, it comes up with a greeting screen with the model number there. And uh, it's defaulted to a couple of frequencies. We've got two VFOs. We can switch between them by pressing uh, uh, the AB key here. So just press the AB. And now I'm on the lower frequency, or really it's the higher frequency, it's UHF. You can see that's in digital mode. If I go back to VFO A, we're in analog mode. If we want to change uh, frequency here, we can just use the keypad. And I can key in 1, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 0, for example. And I'm there. Okay, so that's simple enough. Now, using the 
keypad here using the up arrow I can move the frequency up in 25 kilohertz steps or I can move it down so it's very easy to navigate um, in the VFO mode and uh, you know using using analog let's have a look at the menu structure so we just press the menu button here uh, we have uh, a set menu if we press the menu button again that will take us deeper into the menu we have radio set let's see what the options are here we can set a tone CTCSS tone we can set the squelch level TX power talk around that will be for um, uh, DMR mode I believe band busy lock timeout timer Vox settings double weight power save beep backlight keypad lock uh, indicator there's a password lock facility screen language and then we're back to uh, CTCSS tone press the red key here the back key and then we can step down to the next part of the main menu radio info let's select that got a radio ID so we can go into that that would be your DMR ID number when you program this radio up because it's defaulted to uh, to one there we'll come out of that and this is the device info I believe let's open that and uh, it tells us about the radio serial number is blank CPS version so software version DSP version so not an awful lot of information in there let's press red again and there's nothing else in that menu radio configuration now let's have a look at that so we can program an RX and TX frequency independently we can give the channel a name color code for DMR slot for DMR shift frequency for repeater use shift direction again for repeaters frequency step channel type and then we're back to start that's the radio configuration and so that is it basically in the menu structure if we come back out we've got um, a menu item for zones again that will be uh, really for DMR use we've got uh, scan and again that's it so it's not um, a, a very extensive extensive menu but uh, a lot of this will make more sense when we look at the uh, DMR programming but that's a quick look at the DR1801 the uh, current VHF UHF DMR and FM bargain basement handheld that's uh, available so thanks again for watching